The following video shows how the Flux Boosting System operates. We have a setup here that simulates a real application. In this case, there is a suction line coming from the city or a well pump, a shower to simulate the outlet or an irrigation zone, and a pressure gauge to display the pressure throughout the test. You'll notice that the pressure gauge is already displaying the pressure from the city. At this time, the pump is in standby. Once the shower or the irrigation zone is open, the controller will sense the flow and the pump will start. The total pressure in the system will now be the city pressure plus the pressure the pump can generate at the flow demanded. Once the shower is shut off, the controller will sense that there is no flow, and after a few seconds, the pump will enter standby mode. It remains in this status until the shower or zone is opened again. The pressure in the pump while it is in standby will be the city pressure plus the maximum pressure the pump can generate. One of the advantages of flux boosting systems is the controller's ability to protect the pump against a dry run situation. In order to show this feature, we are going to simulate a dry run situation by closing the valve that was intentionally placed on the suction line. 13 seconds after the dry run situation begins, the controller will shut the pump off to protect it. The pump will remain in standby condition until the flow is re-established. Once the water flow is re-established, the controller will restart the pump automatically. In this case, operation will return to normal with no need for a manual reset.